All right, boys and girls, it is your boy Tigu back once again. Here we're doing a commentary. This time it's not gonna be just the leg workout. I've realized, and some of my friends brought to my attention, what I left out of my previous leg workout and some of my other workouts is just how the heck do you even set up for some of these exercises with the dumbbells and the bands? Because it is a lot different, you know, than just setting up with, uh, you know, a barbell. It's a lot. It's a lot more obvious that way. Anyway, so the first exercise on this day, we're doing kettlebell squats just to, for warm up, you know, very simple. You saw it. this one's pretty basic. You know, you just grab the kettlebell, the setup, you know, you have one hand on each side of the top of the kettlebell, just like that. So it's even balance, you know, and that's it. Just don't grab it from the stem or whatever you call it, the, the axle. This one right here, the dumbbell squats, this one's a little more awkward. You gotta grab each of the dumbbells and then it does take some strength because you need to be able to pick it up and place them on top of your shoulders area and then just making sure that they're in the right position because it's going to be leaning forward on you a little bit like this feels a bit like the front squat because you can see they're not perfectly just stacked on your shoulders okay that's not really possible i don't think anyways they're going to be leaning to the front a little bit it's not going to be perfectly even either you can hold them uh like by the top on the top of the weight or you can hold the uh the handles the whole time but that does hurt your wrist a little bit now here's a really awkward setup with the bands this is a really good exercise but the setup is really weird there might be a better way i'm just showing you how i do it you step on the band with both your feet and you gotta scrunch down there put it over your neck now here's I've gotten better and better at this, okay? And then the setup from there is the same as the uh, dumbbell squats. I've gotten better and better at this, but when you're setting up, you wanna make sure that the bands aren't right on top of your neck. You don't want it to be like on the bridge of your neck or something. Try to get the bands as low as possible towards the base of your neck. Um, so that way it's not really, it's not pulling your neck down. So your head isn't gonna be try being pulled into the ground. Like you wanna just hanging at the base of your neck so that way you don't really feel too much of a, a bend in your neck from the bands, okay? Because this is a really great exercise actually. You get an amazing leg pump just because at the top it's uh, being more and more uh, of a pressure because of the, uh, wow that was just terrible grammar. There's more and more pressure, more and more load at the top because of the bands. Alright, next we're going to do, this is a new one uh, that I'm doing, uh, sometimes anyways, we're doing lunges with the dumbbell. So, you know, not everybody has a fence next to them. You can really just do this without even like having that thing next to you. But obviously because the fence was there, I'll just balance myself right there. Grab the dumbbell with both hands. That way you have a better center of gravity with the weight, you know, it's not swinging around and everything. If you're just holding the dumbbell with one hand, uh, it's probably gonna be moving around a bit, not really in the center of your body. So that's why I do it with two hands. It um, works out pretty well that way. This one is actually an absolute killer. If you are good enough, like strong enough to where you can do this with the band as well, step on the band, wrap the bands both sides around the handle of the dumbbell, grip it just like you did. This is crazy. Like when you're going up, like see, I'm having a little trouble at first because one, my first time doing this, but then two, it's actually just really hard to get that contraction at the end. Like to stand up, it's a it's a lot actually. I tried to do it on like I tried to do the other leg right after doing one side, I was gone. Like I only got like five or six reps and I had to take a little break because this is actually a really good exercise for the hamstring and glutes. And then we're moving on to the Romanian deadlifts. This is the same setup as the squat. You know, you're gonna have to put step on both, step with your feet, both of the feet onto the bands. You know, the wider you step, the uh, the tighter the bands are gonna be. So you don't need to go crazy wide, especially for Romanian deadlifts. You don't want your foot stance that wide anyways. Wrap around the base of the neck. This time you're just gonna stand up with the dumbbells and then that's, that's it. You're gonna do the Romanian deadlifts from there. And this is a really good exercise for the hamstrings as well as the glutes. And once again, this one is really important to get it as low on your neck as possible because this one you're literally bending over for the Romanian deadlifts. So if you're hanging the bands, uh, you know, higher up on the neck, it's really going to feel like, oh, this is before I did the bands, I guess. Anyways, if you hang the bands on the bridge of your neck or towards the you know, upper middle of your neck, you're really going to feel like the bands are pulling your neck down. And that is 
probably not good for your neck health. You're gonna feel really weird. So try to get this the bands to hang as low as possible at, towards the base of your neck as possible. That was redundant, sorry. Okay, and the last exercise, we're doing just calf raises. You know, might as well get some calf work in there. Guys, like, a, for those of you who know, this, you can see this workout's on a tennis court. I play a lot of tennis. That gives you, if you're at a high level, tennis gives you great calves. Plus, I think, guys, I, I don't want to, you know, stereotype, but I think Asians have pretty good calf genetics. So, yeah, but anyways, might as well get some calf work in. Very simple. You know, just put your hand on something to balance. Hold with one dumbbell, or you can do whatever you want, really. But one dumbbell, that's a 50-pound dumbbell, so it's, it's enough. And, but the key here is to go slow and controlled. Wow, I actually lost balance. Oh, no, I didn't lose balance. I was trying to aim towards the camera so you can see the calf a little better. But, yeah, key here is to go slow and controlled. You get to the top, you hold it there. Come down slow. Hold it at the top so you can really get that squeeze. Calf's not a big muscle. You really want to make sure you're getting that contraction in there. And that's going to end this workout, guys. So hopefully that helped a little bit if you didn't know how to set up. If not, sorry, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!